morning morning how are you doing yes it is going to be an absolutely gorgeous day i hear mid 70s what have you heard the same that's awesome hey mr coco puff you guys gotta come down here some i can't see everybody yes come over here some there you go that's better how's everyone doing this morning doing good maybelline looking fantastic hey mr coco puff down there yes you have seen the special treat i have for you this morning haven't you i know you have yes i got you something from the garden yes hold on let me grab it look what the girls and mr coco puff are getting sorry diversion so we can get in there oh yeah look at that this is one of the volunteer heads of lettuce they're gonna love it you guys ready straight way over there Go for it. All right. Okay, I'll toss it. Oh, Mr. Coco Puff says thank you very much. Yes, he does. He says thank you very much. Don't you, Mr. Coco Puff? I appreciate you, sir. I do, I do. Y'all saw me coming in with another one, didn't you? You didn't, you because you're spoiled. Here you go. Right there. Yes. Well, while I'm here, I guess I could empty these out. I don't have another one, y'all. I was just emptying out the feed tray. Y'all are ravenous. I just gave you two heads of lettuce. Oh, you just want the grain? Okay, and ooh, look at the abundance of eggs, y'all. Woo, we gotta get in here and collect some eggs. Collect some eggs. Okay, 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 I'm going to get the, the grain. Apparently, they are not interested in the greens right now. They said the greens are good, but we want the grain. Okay, getting it. That wasn't a good diversion this morning, was it? That did not work out well. Yes, I am coming in. I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh my goodness. Wow, that diversion didn't work at all. Okay, we're gonna have to try this one then. Apparently, they are about this right now. Okay, that'll get us off the uh, trail for a second. Unbelievable. They're very serious. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Not fast enough, clearly. Out of the bucket. Oh my goodness. They have just said no thank you to the greens right now. They kind of mowed on this one a little bit. But I'm really surprised. You guys didn't like that, that right now you wanted more of the grains for breakfast. Okay, you know what's best. You do. Everybody knows their own body, what they need. So get on in there and get yourself some grains. Oh, hey Eve, I saw you running over. Really, ladies? That hungry, really? You would think these birds have been starved. But trust me, you see how fluffy they are. That fluff does not come from being underfed, that's for sure. I'll let you guys sit right here for a second. Maybe you can see both, maybe not. Let's see. Hey, y'all, can I get in here for a second? Excuse me, excuse me, can I move this right here? Oh, sorry, I don't mean to scare you that much. There you go. I know y'all want to be on camera. I know y'all all struck about the whole, you know, being on camera. So there you go. Everybody get the equal time. What? No, it's all good, it's all good. I'm, I'm just gonna go get the egg tray.
11 beautiful eggs so far. Thank you, ladies. Look at those. Yes. That one's huge. That one, too. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. That's some good eats. That is some good eats. Hey, Pink, how's it going? You doing good, girl? Okay, all right. What's up? Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare anybody. Calm down, calm down. Okay, ladies and Mr. Coco Puff, you enjoy your greens and your grains. I have things to do. See you later. Ever wonder how you can add color to your garden and protect your plants at the same time? Or maybe you don't want to have color. Maybe you just want to protect your garden. How about this? Bam! Yes, y'all. Check it out. Take it in. Absorb it. Yes. Tool isn't for weddings and tutus anymore, people. You can use tool in the garden. It is not an expensive fabric. It goes for like a little over a dollar a yard. And right now, a lot of the Joann stores, you can place your order online, drive up, and they bring it out to your car. You can't ask for more than that, people. And look at the beautiful colors. So not only are you protecting your garden from pest, but you're adding a little color at the same time. Oh, my pink one blew off. That should keep my heads of cabbage and cauliflower and lettuce, two different types of lettuce, and my collards and my savoy cabbage protected. Well, I have my harvest basket. You know what that means. Time to harvest. Well, we're harvesting the aquaponic grow bed. Yes, it's time. Finally, things have really started to go crazy in here. So let, oh my gosh, look at the romaine lettuce. What? That looks like it's two feet tall. That, oh, we've got to measure that. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Let's get this ruler in here. Let's get down to the bottom of these rocks. All right. Wow, look at that. That is about 22 inches tall. The romaine lettuce, just going crazy. And the same for over there with the um, Swiss chard. Outrageous. So let's get some of that. Let's see if I can get you in here. Take a look. Let's start with some of these uh, collards. Really kind of get some of these bigger leaves off. Give the small leaves a chance to grow. What an easy area to harvest. You're standing up, there's no bending over. This is what I love about aquaponics. You can set them up so that whatever your situation is at home, you can um, 
have an aquaponic grow bed and still work it at the height that you need. I'm taking off all the larger leaves off the romaine lettuce. That. Some of them got little brown tips. So I need to find out what they might be lacking. So we'll take a look at that, but that looks, oh, so good. So good, so let's put that in the basket. Look at this huge collard leaf. Ooh. So large, look at that, wow. I like to take some of the younger tender ones as well. Oh yeah, I'm really gonna harvest quite a few of these. All right, so, wow, we kind of taken it down quite a bit. Got some collard greens, lots of collard greens. Took lots of Swiss chard. I think I'm gonna saute that with some, uh, I'm not sure which type of meat I wanna use, but I'm gonna use some onions and some garlic. I think that's gonna be delicious. A nice stir fry. Mmm, yum. And then I took down some of the romaine lettuce. Give some of the new leaves some more space. And look at all the space I've now offered to the lemongrass, which is doing fantastically well. And it'll do a lot better now that it's getting more sun. And of course our garlic there. You'll have more light now that I've trimmed it up. And the poor cilantro is just being really pushed over.